Okay guys, so ready for lesson two. This is going to be super, super fast. This is all review, guys. We're looking at exponents again. So the product rule. When multiplying powers with the same base, we add the exponents. So y to the power of a times y to the power of b, we leave the base the same and we add those exponents. That's it. So here we have our bases are the same. So what I'm going to do is say this is 2 to the power of 5 plus 4, which equals 2 to the power of 9, which I then put in my calculator, and I get 512. Here we go here. We have three bases all the same. You can't see an exponent here, but there is a 1 there. So be careful that you don't forget that. So we're talking 6, 1 plus 5 plus 3. So overall, we're looking at 6 to the power of 9, which is a big one, uh, 10,077,696. Okay, thank goodness for exponents. Okay, so the quotient rule, when dividing powers with the same base, we keep the base the same, and now the opposite of multiplication is division. We added, you wanted to guess it, we are subtracting. Okay, so we are subtracting the exponents, okay? All right, so here we go. Again, simplify then evaluate. So three divided by, three to the power eight divided by three to the power of five. The bases are the same. I'm going to subtract the exponents. So I get three to the power of three, which works out to be 27, okay? So here we go, guys. I've got a mix of multiplication and division. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 4 to the power of 8 plus 7 minus 3, okay? So that works out to be 4 to the power of 12. So we're talking 16,777,216, okay? Here we go. Uh, last example for quotient rule, we're looking at multiplication and division all in one. So we're talking 8 to the power of 2 plus 11 minus 3 plus 4. Okay, so be mindful, we're keeping the brackets where they need to be. So we end up 2 plus 11 is 13 minus 7, so we're talking 8 to the power of 6. And we're looking at 262,144. Okay, so not so bad, guys. You're doing awesome. So one more example. So the power of a power rule. So a power of a power can be written as a single power by multiplying the exponents. Okay, so simplify, then evaluate. So to give you an example, so here we have y to the power of a. If we have a power on a power, that's going to be the same as y to the a times b. Okay, so here we have, <clears throat> pardon me, guys. So here we have negative 7, and it is in brackets, 3 times 2. That's all we're doing. So negative 7, again, in brackets, to the exponent 6. Our exponent is an even number, which means our final answer should also be even. Okay, so please be mindful of that. Um, so here we go. Just because it's a fraction doesn't mean we're going to worry about it, okay? Fractions are our friends. We remember that from when we did rise over run, right? So if I'm looking at this, so I'm going to multiply these two together. So two-thirds to the power of six. Now, when we had the quotient rule, that worked out to be 2 to the power of 6 over 3 to the power of 6, which works out to be 64 over 729. If I could reduce my fraction, I would. Uh, so be mindful of that too. There you go, guys. Shortest lesson ever. Have fun with your questions.